Welcome, Aries. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is the third call to business reading for you, Aries. I want to say um, this portal is from July, August, and September. So, Aries, oh my God, um, there is a lot. Higher consciousness, Aries. So, we are, you're going to be changing your energy to an higher conscious. Um, however, way this is going to be happening and transpiring for you, Aries, I see you changing your vibration. And this is going to be good because it's going to be helping you at work and with your situations. So the energy of I conscious, especially at work. So this is good. So a lot of you areas that could be going in spirituality, metaphysic, that sort of a thing. Opening up yourself, the energy of the nine of wands is also here with a sword of truth, finding the truth. Whatever heartbreaks there was, Aries, I see that this is going to be resolved. So this is a wonderful time when you're going to be making significant changes in your work life and this is going to be good so aries um this is going to be a wonderful time for you guys um as we look at the energy it's all about work 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 you aries are one of the best workers and um you aries are going to be making um changes in your world and how you go about your work and this is going to be good so with the energy of i conscious i see that some of you are going to be basically um, honing in on the positiveness of who you are and trying to make something of it. You're going to be looking for extra ways of uh, um, conducting yourself, conducting business and that sort of a thing. And you're going to be fully um, being informed of what is needed to be done and get it done so this is going to be um really really wonderful um uh, especially um um business people working people people who work for corporations i see hard work is going to be put in in this third quarter so as we look at the month of july we have the energy of the ace of swords the ace of swords is really um using the truth using the sword of truth to cut through certain things certain obstacles some of you are going to be moving obstacles and protecting yourself at the same time. So that is good because the sword of truth is about using um, the communication link in a very positive way in order to create wealth for yourself. And this is going to be good because at that same time, you're also protecting yourself, protecting your business, protecting your project, whatever it is that you're working on. However, that you're creating financial abundancy. Um, you will be able to use this power in you in order to um, connect in a very, very, very positive way. So this is um, absolutely um, brilliant in the month of October. And that is going to be bringing you out uh, so much positive alignment of energy that is going to be helping you to move forward. And this is very positive. The Nine of Wands is about a lot of work, but yet still being open to um do the work okay no complaining just be hoping to do the work feeling good about what you're doing understanding what you're doing and uh, being very creative and also um opening up and asking for help as you go along and making sure that you're creating something that is going to be helping you but also helping other people and this is good because you're going to be having the energy of higher consciousness to help you to move forward in such a positive positive alignment of energy so this is going to be good then when we look at the month of august we have um um the emperor in the reverse and the seven um of uh pentacles in reverse now what you're doing is basically reorganizing your daily duties so however this is coming up it's about reorganizing your daily duty understanding what it is that is very important some of you <coughs> businessmen and women could be having some issues um when it comes up to your business um but we're going to be looking at that as we move forward and look at the extended of this reading 
So um, if you'd like to see the extended of this reading, we're going to be going further um, after the 15 minutes break. So what we're seeing here is that uh, some of you business people are going to be having some problems with your business. So whoever you are, whether men or women that is having, um, having, you could be having some issues with your business. However, way this is going to be coming up, it's about, uh, um, it's good because you have planted something, work hard on something and you're waiting to pluck the fruit. So in August, you could be regaining, returning to work, businesses are holding up, and I see you're going to be plucking the fruits of your labors. So this is really wonderful. It is a really wonderful energy that is coming up. As we look at the month of September, I see some of you are dealing with uh, um, a Libran. Whoever this Libran is and whatever is transpiring, I see some of you, this uh, um, energy of uh, this person or the situation at business, with business, is about some um, situation that has uh, transpired with your work or with your business. Now, I see that some of you could have changed work or um, decided to remove yourself um, from a corporation institution or decide to hand a business contract. Now, however, this is coming up. I see you Aries are dealing with um, an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran. It's coming up as a Libran and a Scorpion. So there is some sort of a issue with a Libran and a Scorpion. However, this is coming up and however this is transpiring, you're really seeing that uh, um, a decision has to be made and the decision is not going to be um, a positive decision for everyone that is involved. But I see that um, some of you are having an issue that you have to make a decision. So Aries is as if uh, there is some sort of a uh, um, issue and situation where uh, most of you with your managers have to communicate and clear up some misunderstanding with manager or people in power. However, this is coming up and this is transpiring. This is what is transpiring. There was uh, um, some heartbreaks uh, in the months before this and I see that now um, you have some regrets connecting with um, doing business with some friends or people that you have collaborated with. Um, definitely it's here coming up that you have some issues with people that you have collaborated with in the past. So this could be people who you have worked with in another company or that sort of a thing because I'm seeing that you Aries are having issue um, in order to gain a new job. Okay, some of you are really having issues and you're dealing with a scorpion person that has um, created some issues in your world um, in the past and now you're trying to rebalance this. So this could be a supervisor, um, someone at the workplace, so however this is transpiring. I see some of you are dealing with this issue and it's going to be thinking and going in business for yourself and I see you're protecting yourself. So if you notice... The two outer energies in um, the month of July, it is as if you're standing up and saying, um, look, I've been throwing through the wool um, by my bosses, by people that I work with. And now I'm going to decide for myself to begin for myself, because this is where you stand your ground and you're saying, OK, so that isn't working. So I'm going to be um, choosing to go this direction. And this is what you're seeing, you Aries, that you're going to be deciding in the month of July to go in another direction and to protect yourself and not leaving yourself open as you have done in past. And this is going to be good because what this is showing up and showing you is that you as an Aries is thinking and is saying, OK, so I've, I've been... I've been thrown out by um, the, the wind, the sea, the storm and everything. I'm going to regain my energies. I'm going to regain my strength and I'm going to be using it in another way, another form. And I'm going to be understanding 
um, exactly what is transpiring and how to work with the shift of energies in my life in order to create my um, wealth and stability. And I see that you guys are going to be doing very good at this because you're going to be realizing what it is that you need to do. How is it that you can reach your goals um, in these three months? And I see uh, in July is when you're going to be making that decision um, to change the way you look at things, okay? So I see a lot of you have had some misfortune in the past. However, this is coming up and transpiring. A lot of you have had some misfortune in business in the past and you're trying to revamp your business and reorganize your business in a very positive way so that you can create um, not only stability in your world, but you can create a sense of uh, possibilities. Um, and this is good because you are one of the hardest working people and whenever you're focused, you're focused. So who should you um, communicate with? Communicate to your boss, communicate with people, communicate and, and, and let people see that, um, you know, it's not a game. You decide to put in the work because this energy is about, hey, I decide to put in the work. If the work is given to me, I decide to put in the work. And this is what you're saying. And whatever is transpiring, I see some of you are coming down on a scorpion. Whoever the scorpion and whatever that is transpiring, some of you are really having an issue and it could be a legal issue um, with people in power. And I see that you're going to be standing your ground and speaking up against people who have used their powers in the past against you because now you're becoming um, into yourself. Now you're understanding who you are. Now you're connecting with your divine life purpose and you're understanding who you are. And people who have used their powers in the past, they're all in the reverse. And you're saying, listen, so most of you had some issue with either a legal issue with a company that you 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 have a left, or you're going to be having a legal issue with some situation. Leaving um this quarter, moving out is going to be looking better because you're going to be making sure that the decisions that you have made in the past. You're not going to make it now in the future because you are going to be changing the way you do business. You're going to be changing uh, the way you communicate in business. You're going to be changing the way you attract your clients in business. And this is going to be good because this is as if you are really focusing on what you're doing and what you're creating in your world or the work floor, the workflow, and you're making sure that you are doing, get in on time, leaving on time and making sure that you cover a lot of work by showing that I am good at what I am doing. I know exactly what I'm doing and I am open for more work and more um, positive energies that needs to come in. So this is really a good quarter for you, Aries, whatever the issue and the situation is that was transpiring, whatever that was affecting your life, um, affecting your flow of uh, um, money, whatever that was affecting the flow um, just by how you um, gain your wealth, um, you're going to be changing this in this third quarter and some of you are going to be becoming your own bosses and direct this energy in a positive direction. So Aries, um, it is really that you're cleaning up, you're making changes, you're changing the way you look at things. You're really cleaning up, you're letting people see, hey, um, I'm not about playing games, I'm about doing the work, I'm about putting in the time and the work in order to um, create my own financial ability and um, to create my financial world so that I can have a good balanced financial world. And this is going to be very positive because you're going to be opening up yourself and showing not only um, yourself, but showing people that, hey, um, do not use me to be a pushover because I'm good at what I'm, I'm doing, okay? Some changes reorganization could be coming up. Huh? 
um, in company. Some of you, um, some it is coming to the time when there is some um, performance review. Um, shift and changes is coming up, but it's not going to be affecting all of you. It will affect some of you. But I see that you're going to be continue doing whatever it is that uh, creates your own financial wealth and flow. So I'm leaving it here. Um, this is an extended reading if you want to pick up because we're going to be um, going on further with this. If you want to pick up this reading, um, please use the link below and it will take you to my website. Three readings or 15% um, off. Okay, three readings or 15% off. And it's always good to look back at three months in order to create your future because the extended or timeless and that will create your future and show you what is coming up. I'm going to say namaste until next time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move in and see what is happening.